Hello everyone, and welcome to the premiere of my new album, Adventure. You know, I've been working very hard on this one recently, especially as I've reached the end of my first year at university and have quite a lot of spare time to do stuff. I could very well use that spare time to relax and take a break from doing work, or I could use that time to continue working on new music and continue being productive, bringing new music to you all. And um, I have been doing both to be fair, I've been working on some new music for you while enjoying my break, and you're about to listen to some right now, so that's all good. Also, have been exploring the area around me quite a lot as well. You can even see I've been going on a bit of an adventure. single obstacle that we fear. Whether the weather brings sun or rain, we'll keep moving forwards and then we'll rain as we make our way through the seven seas and hey, with a minute the chords in our seat. Let's make a return back to the main song because right now my rapping is done.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, yeah, in general, I've been pretty hard at work recently with this album. It was certainly a lot of fun to work on, as I definitely felt very creative while working on this. I just had so many ideas for music to write, not just for this project, but also for like the Revival project as well. Though granted, the Revival project is mostly just a remix of existing music that I've already written. But you know, there were quite a lot of changes made to the original material either way, that the new remix still felt like completely new experiences. But, what, but either way, like, you know, I've been working so much, but I guess you could say that my room's been feeling a bit like a wacky workshop recently. I was thinking quite a bit about the idea of metric modulation, and I wanted to play around with it for this piece. It's kind of difficult to explain in words, so I'll start a quick demonstration. 
What you are hearing right now is a long stream of hi-hat notes. Or at least that's what you are hearing if you haven't muted the video. If you have muted the video, I would ask you to turn your audio back on so that this demonstration can work, but of course you can't hear me, so there's no, there's no point trying. Can't blame you for like not wanting to hear my annoying voice. But Anyway, my question now is, what is the underlying pulse? If you were to clap the strong beats, how often would you clap? I'll let you think about that for a moment. Now this is a very subjective question because like, you know, I haven't placed any emphasis on any of these hits, therefore we don't know for sure where the downbeats are. There are many correct answers to that question. If I emphasise every other hit with a kick and snare drum like so, we can interpret those as the quarter note pulse, while the hi-hat is playing eighth notes. However, if we instead emphasise every other other hi-hat hit, we can interpret it as eighth note triplets instead. Depending on the context, this stream of infinite hi-hat notes can be interpreted either way. The metric modulation is basically the process of switching between these two interpretations of the subdivision. In the next piece I use the triplet subdivision for the verses and the straight eighths for the choruses. Um, and this makes the choruses feel faster, because of course the beats are happening more often. A transitioning between the two time fields can be a little tricky. I could go into a lot of depth as to how I managed to pull these transitions off, but I'll just let you listen to it and see if you can spot the points in which I transition between the time fields and how I do so. Yeah. But long story short, I guess you could say this is piece this piece is just me like playing with time.
experiment out the way. Let's move on something a little more fun. In particular, something a little more funky. Are you ready to do some disco dancing? I hope you all enjoyed that, that was certainly a lot of fun indeed. I hope you've been enjoying the premiere so far. I've had a lot of fun writing these pieces, and I do think this is one of my best albums so far. I've come a very long way since the start of making music for the channel, and I think it really shows my more recent albums such as this, The Big Return, Living the Dream, and uh, especially my most recent one, The Revival Project, which is actually ongoing right now, but of course with the exception of The Revival Project. All these are on Spotify as of now, and Adventure, this album, will be no different. Uh, in fact, shortly after the premiere ends, the Spotify release for this album should be out, so be sure to stream your favourite pieces from there at midnight British summer time. Uh, anyway, as you probably know, uploading music to Spotify does cost money to do, and as you also probably know by now, I do earn money from Spotify releases, but the payout is so pathetically low, it's probably not even really worth it. My last payout gave me like somewhere around two pennies after all. But, you know, I, I need to ensure that I have a secure enough financial income that I can rely on to release my music on Spotify. And thankfully I have found one during the holidays. 
I basically use an app which allows me to do some temporary work off by ride ranger companies, much like the ones that I want to do, and best of all, I get paid for it. It's not perfect by any means, but I think, you know, it's a good, it's a good way of earning money. And it'll do. It'll ser it certainly has helped me to fund some of these Spotify releases. Um, I guess you could say that to help me fund the Spotify releases, I've been doing quite a lot of industrial action.
So as we get nearer towards the end of the premiere, I see most of you are probably disappointed for this ending so soon. At least, I'm just going to assume so, I don't know for sure, because this is not actually a live video being recorded in real time. This is a pre-recorded video that's being premiered in live, and only your reactions in the stream chat are in real time. And for the record, I actually am playing the piano in this recording right now. A few slip-ups that I may have made probably proves this. You know, been kind of like pausing a bit longer than I should just so I can read the script. Which, you know... And yeah, of course I am doing speech while playing the piano as well. It's really not easy, but um, yeah. I think we should add some... I think we should add some left hand to this. Just to add some more, like, just so we can add some uh, bass, you know? Why not? Let's, let's see how that goes. Nice. This is a really nice arpeggio pattern, by the way. Anyway, um, let's assume for the sake of argument that you're disappointed. Sorry, <laughs> that you're disappointed that the uh, premiere's already coming to an end and you've been enjoying all the music, and you wish that there could be more music. And yeah, I get it. You know, but I'm afraid we only have time for two more pieces in total, including this one, that's about to come up after this intro. But not to worry though, because um, next up, in my list of projects coming up, will be the second part to a revival project, which will be a huge one. It will consist of um, remakes from uh, pieces I wrote in lockdown as well as um, remakes from the Living the Dream, which should be fun. I was meant to switch the chords earlier, but hey, let's go now. Um, but yeah, the, Revol the new Revolve project will include some of those pieces. that lockdown rap you not seem to enjoy so much. Uh, but for now we have to bring the premiere to an end and hopefully you'll forget about all the unprofessional delivery of the speech as I play the piano while si simultaneously speaking because it's really not easy and I don't know why I'm doing this but why, why I didn't just like record the speech and the piano part separately I don't know why but hey at the end of the day, time moves on.
thank you for listening everyone. If you enjoyed what you heard, you can click on that subscribe button for more. And perhaps if you can, listen to the Spotify release of this album as well. Who knows I'll make money from it. A small amount, sure, but like, the more of you that listen to it, the more money that I get. If I can get a good amount from the Spotify releases, then that, to me, would be great. One might even say sweet. Or even... a sweet fantasy. And that's it. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next video. Bye for now.